Now we're here at the Mars Volume Studio and we're shooting our drive-in sequences for season two of Gangs of London. Well, we choose virtual production because we want to be very creative with camera angles. Also, we were shooting in October, November, December, so we were shooting in the winter. This way, at least, we have more time in studio by shooting real plates on location and then having the time in studio to shoot more creative camera angles. We looked at the various options as to whether we would shoot green screen or whether we would shoot low loader or whether we would shoot on the road. And we came to the conclusion that shooting on the volume stage gave us the maximum flexibility and the most efficiency. We've got a 180 degree screen, we have some floating screens, and we also are able to embellish the light with exterior lights. This enables us to create a very realistic shoot for the cars, for the vehicles, natural reflections, and also to very quickly change our angles. It gives us a very, very flexible workspace, which helps us to move very quickly through our setups. Ah, action. In one of our episodes, a lot of the scenes are set within a car. So in order to make this interesting, we wanted to come up with a system that would enable us to do more creative camera moves. We integrated a turntable with the back plates and also with the techno crane so that we could move from inside the car to the exterior of the car at the same time as rotating around the car. So it's some very complicated camera moves. The advantage of shooting on a real location is that it's already in camera and it's done. The only problem there is that you fight weather elements. Sometimes you have a bumpy road or the weather turns on you or you have a technical malfunction and you lose time and you can't do all your shots. In volume, at least, there's a consistency of light. It makes it easy for the director to talk to actors and having more time with actors on studio. It's an easier way of shooting that way. Quite often, with the usual green screen method, we would shoot the studio plates against green and then at a later stage you would maybe select your plates that you're going to use in the edit. However, the disadvantage of doing that is that your lighting is less integrated with the characters and the surfaces of the vehicle or any shiny objects you may have, whether it be glass or chrome. And you've got things like details on the glass that get blown out of focus or you've got wispy hair detail, which really give a compromise on the final look. Shooting on the volume largely takes that away. When it's done, it goes straight to edit and it's done. You don't need to clean up green key and trying to match everything on that. As with any process, there are technical challenges that need to be overcome. No system is perfect. When it comes to the volume studio, you have to be very, very careful about how you select your background plates, how they're shot, things like frame rates. You have to be very clear about how you're going to use the plates. Um, it's very important to understand how your light is interacting with the camera from the volume to minimize any sort of artifacts or distortion. I think it's very important when shooting in, in a studio environment that you have a team that understand the process and the team have been really trying to help us in every area that they could to get the best result on the screen. It's very exciting to be involved in the cutting edge of the technology and trying to push it as far as it can go.